Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stina. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my sun babe hair experience. Now before we get started, I have a new camera. It is my iPhone 12 Pro Max that I'm filming with. I don't care to get too fancy when it comes to my channel. So let me know what you think if you are a returning viewer. I also hit 400 subscribers. I'm obsessed with you guys. Thank you so much. So let's get to the nitty gritty. I found a sun babe hair through Instagram. This was during quarantine season um, when things were a little bit crazier. You couldn't really go to a salon to get your hair done. Now I had had a really dark gloss in my hair that had been fading some. Um, and then I had some of my lighter colored roots growing in at the time. And I saw an ad for this. Um, I went everywhere on the internet. And I actually, it took me a few weeks before I decided to purchase this. I was a little bit skeptical because I have previously used uh, Sun In Hair, which is kind of like a really strong chemical that lightens your hair. It ruined my hair. Um, so I was really scared to use something like this. But apparently it was supposed to be non-damaging. People that had used it had really good results. Apparently, I didn't really see anything bad about it on the internet. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try. Um, they said that you could use it on colored hair. They said that you could use it on dark hair, really any type of hair, it'll lighten it. A big thing for me was I didn't want anything that had alcohol or like hydrogen peroxide in it. Apparently this does have it. I thought that I had read that it didn't have it online and on their website, but after looking at the back ingredients, like literally the second ingredient after water is hydrogen peroxide. So it definitely was a little bit frustrating for me. Um, so I also had read that this is a small bottle. I have pretty fine hair. I will admit this bottle did last me a while. It's completely empty. I have just the smallest amount left. Now, when I had used this, I did have some of my natural hair color growing in. My hair was darker. I'll insert a picture so you can get an idea of what color my hair was. Um, but they said it could be used on any kind of hair. So I really tried to focus on the ends and not really the roots or anything like that. Um, but <laughs> there were a few things I noticed. One, people had said this before, but I didn't believe them. If you get it on your hands, your hands will get blotchy and white. It's weird. I don't know why it does that. Um, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell great. Um, I didn't try it with a blow dryer. I did try it in the sun. I was on a boat that day. Um, and yeah, so this was what I was trying because my gloss had been bothering me and my hair was growing in and I needed something that was going to be a little bit more natural and easy to use. I did note that shipping did kind of take longer than expected. It, it took them like a week before they had shipped it out. Kind of frustrating for me, but it is what it is. So I hadn't seen immediate results, um, but I did see more results over time. But I'm kind of frustrated with the results that this gave me. I am grateful that it lightened my hair. Um, but it, even though like I really tried to avoid my roots, I don't know if that's a me problem, it made like my top of my hair bright blonde. I, I will insert a picture where you can see directly my roots being bright blonde. Like I said, I really didn't focus it on my roots. Maybe it's because just like with bleach, there's more heat, so it made my hair lighter. But there wasn't anything in the instructions that really didn't say don't put it on the top of your head. It literally just says spray evenly into hair until visibly damp and comb through. Expose hair to the heat of the sun or low heat from a hair dryer. dryer. Results are permanent. Use up to once a day. So, <laughs> my roots were bright blonde and it was really noticeable. So, I had to go and get a box dye. I got the L'Oreal Root Touch Up and I touched up my roots and it looked good at that point. It, it went back to normal and I was like, okay, thank God. But I hope I didn't have any damage. I didn't see any real damage to be honest, but I did see that my hair was drier. And then like, I'm not even kidding. Two months later, I noticed this. Now my hair at this point is literally three different colors. You can see my roots where they have naturally grown in. 
You can see where it had lightened my roots and then I had tried to cover it with a dye and then it faded and it was just light and like orangey again and then my other color, it was just weird. It was so weird. And so my hair is literally three colors. And people that I had seen online, like they showed perfect results. They had this like beautiful light streaks, like their hair would look more like balayage blended. And my hair is literally just three different colors. So yeah, definitely frustrating. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm just literally never gonna use this again. I use the entire bottle for full results. Um, I was really just trying to fade my gloss, which it did, but it made my hair really weird. Um, so I saw people like, I got a Facebook ad for Sun Babe Hair and I was like, man, and I saw a lot of people asking for their experience and I remember I wasn't rude or anything about it, but I had like shared a picture of my different hair colors just to be like, honestly, like would not recommend. It's just not consistent at all. And they deleted my comment and then they blocked me from commenting. So I still get their ads, but I only have the option to share the ads. I don't have the option to comment on them. So it was really frustrating for me. I'm like, okay, so maybe I would have made a better decision about buying your product if I had some real honest results and I saw some videos on YouTube about it, but I didn't see a ton with people with my situation or hair color. So I was like, okay, I'll just make a video on it. But it's just annoying because I feel like there was a, some sort of dishonesty by blocking me and I wasn't even blatantly disrespectful. I was just honest about my experience. Um, so <laughs> that really frustrated me. What frustrated me the most was I posted on my personal Instagram about my experience with some babe hair. And then I said I was gonna make a more thorough experience because I've had this for probably about seven months now and I just haven't made a video on it because um, I've been living life. But I was like, this is my experience. I shared a little bit about it and then I was like, I'm gonna make a video on it and I'm gonna post it on YouTube. And they had messaged me essentially saying, no, please don't make a video on it. You know, don't hurt small business. We are a small business. Um, we will refund you, but please don't make a video. And I was like, okay, but when I had a bad experience the first time, you literally just blocked me. Like, and I thought about it for a while. I'm like, are they trying to get me with the don't hurt small business? It's like, I love supporting small business, but if your product didn't work for me, your product didn't work for me. And I'm not sitting here trying to diss you, and I wasn't dissing you, but you legitimately blocked me, and you're not helping other people know if this is the right product for them. So after thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna make a video. And you know, maybe it worked for some people. I saw a lot of people that it did work for, but I don't want, you guys to be in the same situation where I was, where I saw no negative comments because it's like, this is what it really did to my hair. And I just had to put another gloss on my hair, a box, store box, Kristen S gloss on my hair because my hair was so many different colors. I needed to try and make it blend a little bit more seamlessly. So you can even see, and it's not shine, it's color. You can see a little bit of my natural color even though I just put a gloss over it literally at last week, you see a little bit of lightness here and then my darker hair here. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. It didn't ruin my hair, but it definitely isn't worth, I think I paid like $32 plus shipping for this product. Um, definitely not worth it. And this is your reality check that not everything that you see in terms of reviews is honest. Um, and not everything that you see on the internet is legit. So um, I'm sorry, some babe hair. I respect that you're a small business. I respect that you might help some people, but it just didn't help me. And I did not appreciate my honesty being deleted. And therefore I am posting this for people that really want to know the honest truth of my own experience. I respect that you're trying to help people and that you might've helped a lot of people through quarantine. One of those people just was not me. 
Um, and because of my experience, I will not be buying this again or trying anything like it just because I've lost hope in that. If you want your hair salon my end, if you want a real balayage, don't do it the cheap way like me. It doesn't work. It really doesn't. So that is my experience. I hope this helps you. Um, I hope my journey uh, is something that gives you perspective on what's best for you. And I hope to see you in my next video. All right. Love you. Bye.